What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last part, we fin we did all we finished Good Egg Galaxy, did all of Honey Hive Galaxy. In this part, we're going to do those two um we're going to do those uh two uh secret star galaxies and now we're going to do two galaxy. Now, these are one star galaxies, so what we're, essentially is we have to clear this for just surfing 101. I will say though when I was a kid and the first time I ever played this, let's just say I had a pretty hard time with this, but I can do this no problem, let's just say. It's also gonna go through the tutorial, so, uh... Are you a surfer, too? Well, in real life, I'm not, but in this game, you have to say yes. Oh, but this is your first time race surfing, right? Well, then, let me show you the ropes. Now, let me explain. Alright. Point your screen. Yeah, that was right. It pays the position. Turn left. I am turning left. All right. Sometimes that's a little finicky, All right? So I turn left and, uh... Sometimes, yeah, let's just say sometimes this tutorial is a little finicky, but, uh, that's how you turn right. Then all you need to do is hold down A to speed up. That's all you do. Now, those star bits in the background, you, the, the pointer is disabled during this, so, uh, the only way you can get those star bits is if you have a second player that has the pointer. Cause that's, this game does have a two-player mode. It's just the uh, the second player controls like the pointer. Anyway, so I would not personally consider this to be that hard now, but when I was a kid, I definitely had problems on this. My advice with this is just slow down. It's like slow down at the turning, like speed up when you're going straight and slow down when you're steering. That way, you should you should have no problems with this. It's hard to play as in commentator, so maybe try to see if you can go, go in a life loop also, but, uh... Yeah, I, do, I generally don't have any problems with this era, with this star now, but, uh... Let's well, say the first time playing this game when I was nine years old, yeah, I definitely did. Just slow down at the steering, you'll be alright, let's just say. Because if you fall down the pit, it's basically a death. Let's see if we can get the one up. Actually, no, I'm thinking of the other. I'm thinking of a lit. Because we have to do a later version of this also. But anyway. One oh two sixteen. Congratulations, you deserve a gold medal. And according to this penguin, a power star that's needed to control an entire observatory is a gold medal. Let's see what he actually uh, says. Oh, he just said the same thing. I did not mean to talk to him again. Oh, yeah. So, uh. So, what we're going to do now is, uh... Is we're going to do the other one-star galaxy, and, uh... We're going to do the other one-star galaxy. We only got seven servers out of that, but anyway, we got a new galaxy. We have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope they're not misusing the power of that poor grand star. And we're not going to save our game just yet. And, uh, we're gonna do the flip through the I think after this, we're gonna tackle the Hungry Luma Star as well. So, uh, because yeah, every dome has a Hungry Luma Star as well. So, uh, painting the planet yellow. So, yeah, we basically have to, uh, we basically have to flip the switches, let's just say. This is a, I like how there's a, um, eight, um, Super Mario Bros. oriented background. And, uh, yeah, there's, a. Uh, let's just say Nintendo basically loves to reference Mario 1. To be fair, Mario 1 was the game that basically resurrected the gaming industries in the 80s. So, uh, even though, uh, Mario 1 isn't the particularly the most polished game, in my opinion, I definitely give it credit for that. So, uh, not, get, not getting electrocuted. Oh my god, am I gonna fucking die in this level? Alright, let's not get killed. Let's get the coin. 
All right, there we go. God, that would have been embarrassing. This is an easy star, so I would have felt particularly bad if I died on this. Let's uh, get on that. And now we uh, take that star out of the way. I think now we're going to do the uh, Hungry Luma star, and then we're going to do the Boss star. This is not going to be as long a part as the uh, last part, let's just say. And let's not save, or save our game. But anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to tackle the Hungry Luma Star. So, uh, and, uh, hey, you, yeah, you, you just, every time you tell you a Hungry Luma, they just say the same thing. So I'm just not going to go through their dialogue again. But, uh, he needs 400 star bits. So this is basically why I recommended going out and trying to get as many star bits as possible. Because we basically have double that amount. And the sweet, sweet galaxy has appeared. So I guess we'll tackle this right here. So, uh, basically the sweet, sweet galaxy is a, a one-star galaxy. It's Rocky Road is the one star. So, uh, it's actually a dessert-oriented level. And also, uh, listen to the music that plays. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Music from Mario 3. This game, I think this game has several, this game has several throwbacks in its soundtrack, or I will say, but I just got a shock right there. And you want to, um, you want to basically avoid the holds, and, uh, believe it or not, this is like Luke Dill's Ground Team, where when I was a kid, I had a lot of trouble on this, because I was not used to running with the nun truck, but, uh, Now, um, let's talk to the toads over here. What do they say? I can't go any farther. Don't stop here. The star is right around the corner. So, yeah. If, you, if you're a veteran player of Mario Galaxy, you can essentially get the star done in a few minutes. That's same with really any one-star galaxy. You have this one-up. We're almost at 40 lives. Anyway, so... We're walking on ice cream, like, uh, believe it or not, there's also a game based on the, uh, Spongebob movie that also has that same concept, walking on ice cream. Probably, there's probably other games that have that too, but, uh... What is that, Ca what does Captain Toad have to say? Which he, Cap- Hey, we're going back, so, yeah, Captain Toad would become a staple in the Mario series in subsequent games, but, uh, this is essentially his first appearance. Anyways, we're back at the observatory. Anyway, so we're gonna go to the, uh... What we're gonna do now is, uh... Go and tackle the boss level. That'll be the first of the domes out of the way, but anyway, so, uh... If we go over here... The music changes, so this is Bowser Jr.'s Robot Reactor. Not the hardest of bosses, I'll say. I will say, I don't think there's really a single Mario Galaxy boss that I really find that hard, let's just say. There's a few in Galaxy 2 I do not like, let's just say, but uh, Galaxy 1, yeah, not very much. Anyway, so what we gotta do is, uh, now these enemies are actually, they're Goombas with heads. Excuse me! Anyway, so, uh, if you jump on them, if you jump on them and they're upside down, you're gonna get coins. Not that it matters, we're not gonna get 50 coins in this hole. So anyway, what you actually wanna do is, uh, not have the bullet bill explode. You wanna take this bullet bill and have it, take it over to the, hey! Stop exploding! So actually, third time's the charm. Yeah, like that. 
We can also go for a one-up, but I don't think we particularly need it. Wow, you made it, but I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Get him, Megaleg. Stop me to grant star power. I'd say this is the first time in a 3D Mario game. Maybe it's Sunshine, because technically it's Sunshine, but uh, I think this is the first time in 3D Mario where Bowser Jr. is starting to be boss scene. He was already a, a frequent boss like New Super Mario for the DS, but uh, and technically it's Sunshine, because he technically is Shadow Mario, but uh. What we have to do is have to climb up at the top, and uh, if you fall back down, um, basically if you fall that back down, you have to go back up. As uh, basically, basically, I'm I'm seeing the opposite climb all this. But anyway, we get this bullet bill over here. There's gonna be more bullet bills and star bits. So let's grab those. We have to. What we kind of have to do is get one. Of, lure one of these bullet bills. If we can actually lure them. We have to kind of lure them. And uh, we have to kind of lure them and get them to hit that. And that's him, Mega Leg defeated. So yeah, um, that's our second Grand Star. Anyway, so we're gonna get through a cutscene, but uh, and another dome is about to open. Yay! Look at this. We're gonna go through dialogue also, but uh. We get another Grand Star and uh, Galaxy Complete, and uh, we discovered a new galaxy, and we discovered two new galaxies in the fountain, so uh, we'll tackle those in the next part. That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you cover a Grand Star, a little star power will be restored, and the beacon will grow. The common observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all of the power of the star, we'll be able to fly to the center of the universe. Oh, the power is on in a new dome. The newly opened dome is called the Fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you get the location of a dome, don't hesitate to see with me. So, uh... Yeah, so, uh... We're going to cut it for this part of Super Luigi Galaxy, so, uh, next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, we're going to do the fountain. See you guys then.